There's a pretty nifty feature in Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Reader that is turned off by default, and that is autocomplete for forms. It's not quite as powerful as autocomplete like on a web form where it'll automatically fill in all your information if you turn on that option. But it will remember what you've typed in and suggest it as an option. So here I'm working in the normal Acrobat mode where autocomplete is turned off. And I type in my name, I'll have to, and Concepcion, oh, this is so much work, 41, 22, and so on, right? So let me revert. And let's see where that option is for autocomplete and turn it on. It's in preferences. So go to the edit menu and choose preferences or on a Mac, go under Acrobat or reader menu, choose preferences, go down to forms. And at the bottom, you'll see autocomplete. It's turned off by default, but you can select this and choose either basic or advanced. Now I found that basic really is just slightly better than off completely. There's only a few times when it remembers like my name and suggests to complete the name as I start typing. So I really like advanced. Let's turn on advanced and then you can turn on uh, remember numerical data so that as you are filling out forms, it's remembering that information. We'll click OK. And now let's try filling this in. Oh, so it recognizes this as a text field for a name and it's suggesting some of the names I've entered in the past and Concepcion and Grand Puba. We'll say Anne and there's Concepcion automatically filled it in for me, which I thought was pretty cool. I'll tab to the address field, fill that in. I love that. So this is, gets very close to how the web form works. And if you fill out a lot of forms in Acrobat or Reader, this is an excellent option to turn on in preferences. Now there's something else. I don't know if you caught that, but if we go back to preferences in autocomplete, there's the ability to edit the entry list. So if you just entered Grand Puba as a joke one day and you never want to see that suggested again, you can select it and choose remove. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Now you can't add anything here, but all you can do is remove it. But still, that's a nice way to prune some of these suggestions that it comes up with. So that's autocomplete. Just turn it on in preferences in the form section. And I think you'll really enjoy how Acrobat and Reader anticipate what it is that you want to enter and do that work for you.